Picking the right panel for your project is very important and there are many things that go into that decision, including location, building design, local codes and requirements, look, and more. Today, we are looking into the SMI 2-inch SCH mechanical seam panel and learning about its application, engineering, installation, and when you should and shouldn't choose it for your roof. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. In this series, we look at a specific profile and discuss when you should and shouldn't use it, installation requirements, applicable engineering, and more. Our profile today is the SMI 2-inch SCH Mechanical Seam Standing Seam Profile. This profile is very, very similar to the SMI 2-inch Mechanical Seam Profile that is run out of a new tech machinery roll former. The reason SMI also has this 2-inch profile is that this one is run out of a Schleybach roll former and its dimensions are different enough to require different testing. If you're going to specify a 2-inch mechanical, choose the standard new tech machinery because our customer base is driven around new tech and you will have more options to find a fabricator. Now this is a standing seam mechanical lock system, which means it's installed with hidden clips and fasteners on the male leg and the female leg is seamed to engage the panel. It has a maximum 18 and 3 quarter inch panel width when it's formed with steel. It can be formed with 22 gauge to 24 gauge. If you use the same material in a heavier gauge or a narrower width panel, the engineering is still valid. This panel uses approximately 5 and 9 16 inches of material to be formed. Mechanical seam profiles are effective in both steep slope and low slope applications. They are hydrostatic systems, which means they can hold water and remain weather tight as it drains slowly off the building. The SMI 2 inch SCH mechanical seam can be installed at slopes as low as a half 12 for steel. If it's being installed below a 212 for steel, you must install sealants per ASTM E2140. We talk about engineering a lot because it uses actual data gathered about the exact panel profile and ensures that if you install your roof per those specifications, you're giving it the best chance possible to perform. For the 2-inch SCH mechanical lock profile, there's a variety of engineering specifications available from tests performed in a laboratory by Sheffield Metals. The SMI 2-inch SCH mechanical seam panel has been tested in steel over plywood, B-deck, and B-deck with ISO for UL580 and 1897 uplift testing, ASTM E1680 air infiltration testing, and ASTM E1646 water penetration testing. Also, ASTM E2140 water submersion testing was performed for steel over plywood. This panel is eligible for use in WeatherTech warranty projects through Sheffield Metals and qualifies for the standard SMI 40-year PVDF paint warranty and Galvalume warranties. Some upcoming testing for Sheffield profiles includes finishing HVHZ approvals for Florida, upgrading some non-engineered profiles to have testing, and doing even more testing on current engineered profiles. Stay tuned for updates on those. This panel is a good choice for steep slope and low slope applications, and it's almost always commercial. It's good if you want an engineered system, are interested in commercial weather type warranties, or have a building with hydrostatic conditions. This panel isn't a great choice if you have enough slope for a snap lock profile and you don't want to have to use the extra labor for seaming. Also, the 2-inch rib is pretty large, so in some applications it might not have the look you want, and I would definitely not suggest it for DIY projects. Also, as I mentioned before, it might be harder to find this specific profile in your area, so I would say look for the standard new tech 2-inch profile. Next, let's look at how this goes down on a roof. Make sure to follow the engineering guidelines as to what deck substrate you can install over, proper clip spacing, approved accessories, and other additional requirements. I've already fabricated these panels with a one inch bend at the eave and a one inch box at the top, but if you wanna learn how to do it yourself, there's a couple links in the description. On the deck, the panel hooks onto the eave, is pinned on the box end with a couple fasteners, and uses appropriate engineered clips on the male leg depending on the material and substrate. The next panel hooks onto the eave, the female leg is placed over the male leg and is seamed together. There are two kinds of bends, a 90 degree seam and a 180 degree seam. Make sure you know which is required with the engineering, and I can tell you most of the time it's a 180 degree seam. This process is usually completed with a robotic seamer. I'm using a hand seamer for this example, but it takes a lot of extra labor to seam the entire roof with a hand seamer to 180 degrees. Now, hand seamers are good for when putting in a 90 degree bend at the clip locations, 
which accomplishes a fixed point while you're laying panels, so you can go back and seam the panels with a robotic seamer later, per the seamer manufacturer's instructions. By putting that 90 degree seam in over the clip, it makes it easier for the robotic seamer. I'm finishing the panel using the 180 degree hand seamer as an example, again, not a typical way to do it, unless there's hard to reach areas or something like that. Robotic seamers will give a cleaner, more consistent seam and are obviously easier on the installer. Because the panel is only pinned at the top and we used expansion clips, which come in two parts and can move freely, it expands and contracts as needed at the eave. The Sheffield Metals installation details has a great thermal movement chart that shows how much of a gap you should leave at the eave based on the panel metal, deck material, and panel length. Details for this profile are available at SheffieldMetals.com and those details are recommended for both commercial and residential projects. On a side note, Sheffield actually has three two-inch profiles. The SMI two-inch mechanical seam Armco panel is on the non-engineered list and I'm including it in this video only because it's another two-inch panel. It used to be a popular panel, but it's very hard to double lock because it has an additional down leg on the male side. Usually it's got an exposed fastener going through the seam or it's only seamed to 45 degrees. As time moved on, we found better ways to do it and better panel profiles. If you wanna know more about the SMI two inch SCH mechanical seam profile or other panels that Sheffield Metals offers, I'll link the profile page in the description below. Comment if you have any questions, subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel, and as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and I'll catch you next time.